Hi, welcome to Newgate 180 Addiction Solutions. My name is Peter Kunst and I'm the Executive Director. And I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about Newgate, what we do, the kind of programs we have, the kind of people we reach, um, and what makes us different than, than a lot of the other facilities. And I think what we've been told is from the get-go, from the onset, when somebody calls Newgate 180, they talk to a real person, we have a very caring and responsive approach, and we deal with the person that's calling. So if it's an employer, a family member, um, or if it's the addict themselves, they're the one with the issue and the problem, and they're the one that has some kind of crisis and needs help and needs to be responded to. We don't tell somebody to go get somebody else to call, we respond to the person. Um, we deal with employers, supervisors, EAPs, um, whomever is trying to deal with an addiction, family member, co-worker, employee. Um, we're there to help and support them from the onset. Uh, we deal with people who are not yet uh, ready to admit fully that they have an addiction or a problem. So a lot of the other facilities, the starting point is when somebody says, I'm an addict and I need help. A lot of times we deal with people who are running into problems at work. The employer can no longer have them at the workplace because of liability risks and they need to do something about the issue or problem that they're facing. They send us the individual and we begin working with them to have them look at their lives and help them identify the areas of their lives where they're running into problems and begin to uh, provide them with help and support. And so we deal with the addiction, um, whether or not the person is yet admitting that they're an alcoholic or a substance abuser or not, and we help them evaluate their life and come up with an action plan that deals with the many different areas of their life that they're struggling with. Um, our program involves family um, from the onset and the workplace. We gather information from all sources so we have a full picture of what the individual is struggling with, and we help that individual face themselves in their lives and turn their lives around 180 degrees. Um, we deal exclusively with high functioning or working people. Um, so people who come to our facilities are in with like individual and that makes it a lot easier for them to open up, um, to support each other. Um, what we found 25 years ago when we were dealing with a wide range of individuals, working people tended to take a back seat to other people who seemed to have far more issues or problems, right? And the other thing that, that we found, working people would say, you know, that's somebody that has a real problem. My problem is not that bad. And that would only reinforce the uh, minimization or denial of what their problem. I have a job, I have a family, I have a home, I have a, a cottage, um, you know, it doesn't, uh, that image is not who I am. Uh, so when they're with other individuals who are struggling with the same issues, the problems at home, with their family, their children no longer feel um, uh, that they can bring friends home because of they don't know what the, uh, state that one of their parents is going to be in, the, the members or the uh, clients discuss their issues at work and they all seem to have the same kind of common issues. Their productivity has gone down, they haven't been as successful as um, they could be, their employer is on, on their case, they're running into issues either with the law around DWIs or uh, work performance, uh, beginning a disciplinary process. Um, and the more and more they can connect and, and have the same type of issue discussed, 
that really helps each and every member open up more and more. Um, other things that we do is we really treat people with dignity and respect. These are uh, uh, individuals who have a lot of shame and guilt. And the last thing they need is to be shamed even. These are people who are generally fairly successful in many areas of their lives, and there's one area seem to get the better of them. They've struggled with that for a long, long time. So admitting kind of defeat or shame is, is something that is very hard for them to do. Um, the, uh, I hope they cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I can.